If you're making an antenna, adjusting an antenna, diagnosing antenna problems or coax problems, don't use an SWR meter. Use this, a nano VNA. VNA stands for Vector Network Analyzer. Comparing an SWR meter to a VNA is like comparing this, an iPhone, to this. Here's the one I use, less than a hundred bucks on Amazon. A decent SWR meter costs more than that. Now, why do some others, which look exactly the same, do the same thing, cost less? Well, this one has the bigger battery and will run all day. Link is in the description. So, what can a VNA do that an SWR meter can't do? All right, finding resident frequency, you must, with an SWR meter, you must manually sweep transmitter frequency and watch for the SWR dip. Nano VNA automatically sweeps and shows resonance points instantly. Impedance matching only shows how good bad the match is, the SWR value. Nano VNA shows why the match is poor, reveals resistive versus reactive mismatch, phase angle, and sign of reactance, inductive or capacitive. Cable faults. SWR meter limited can only suggest a mismatch exists somewhere. Now, Nano VNA can use time domain reflectometry to locate faults or discontinuities along a cable. Antenna tuning only shows SWR adjustments must be made. Fancy word there means, you know, over and over again. Uh, Nano VNA shows SWR curve across the frequency band, allowing precise tuning for minimum SWR at the desired frequency. Measuring coax loss, not possible with an SWR meter, yes. Nano VNA can measure insertion loss and return loss. Well, how do you use one of these things? Well, there's some good videos here on YouTube for that even if you have no idea of where to start. Consider subscribing to this channel. Ring the bell for updates in 73.